I'm TJ Real, and I'm a sophomore at Emporia State. My name is Isaiah Esquivel, and I'm a freshman at Emporia State. Justin Farrell, and I'm a senior. Cade Colmeyer, I'm a senior at Emporia State, and you're watching Disc and Deals coverage. Everyone and welcome in to Disc and Deals coverage. You're in for a treat today because we're following around Emporia State, but I have a special guest with me. I'm Lucas Deal here with Emporia State player Isaiah Esquivel. We're going to do some commentary today. Isaiah, how you feeling, man? I'm feeling great. I'm ready to get this commentary going. Yeah, I am super excited. We are at the Mid American Regionals. Um, big thank you to tournament director Matt. This tournament hosted quite a few teams. Do you know how many different colleges were here, Isaiah? I'm not sure. I think it was around 20 or I don't know. It was somewhere. It was a big number. That's all I remember. Yeah, it was it was a lot of a lot of teams. Big thanks to Dynamic Disc for sponsoring. Also, big shout out to Ace Run Pro who's letting me use their drone footage that you're seeing now. So thanks so much. You're going to see a few different players today. This is the team round. Emporia State currently has a two-stroke lead over Oklahoma Christian and a three-stroke lead on Missouri. And Isaiah, tell me about hole 16. You're starting here. Hole 16 is a water carry, uh, 320 feet. Uh, you, you, What your miss is, you want to land on, behind the basket but the only thing about bad about that is you'll have a death putt right at the water. So it's up to the player to see where they want to land. Um, it's a good hole. It's a really good hole. It's an awesome hole, but not usually the starting hole. And the wind was ripping this day. So tell me how you're feeling. So it was a solid headwind. Um, I, was, I grabbed this just before this round, just for this hole. And it was just crazy that we just started on this hole. So I was like, yeah, just get it out of the way now. It's a, a criminal that I had for a while. Not even a chance. I was very upset with that, but I mean, it's just really hard in this headwind to, to get onto the island. Yeah, super tough. And you figured it would flip up a little bit, I'm sure, with the headwind. That's a pretty beefy boy. What's Justin leaning on here? Do you know? Yeah. I want to say like a firebird type of disc and it just kind of just gets pulled over to the right. That wind just says no. And we're both out of bounds. Not the way you want to start. And here is Landon and he's for Oklahoma Christian. And you can see just his shirt, how crazy the wind is right now. Yeah. I know that in his mind, he's just waiting for that wind to calm down a little bit. I know when I do this, um, I'm just waiting for that wind to have a break, but obviously it's not. So it's kind of just wing it, hopefully get on the island. Yep, and that's pretty good. Maybe a little low. Uh, didn't have the fight. 0 for 3 right now. Yeah. And this is Micah Tatro. Micah absolutely crushes the disc. Yes, I was yeah. going to say he throws far. One word to describe him, he just, he crushes forehand, backhands, you name it. And that one looks good. Oh, but too good. Skips yeah. off the island long. Uh, when I seen that, I was just in disbelief. I thought that was perfect, hitting the wall and giving them a, a birdie putt. Um, obviously, it skipped over the island. Yeah. And here's Jared. Our first look at the Missouri team. And I like the height on that one. Great shot. And he's on. Yeah. Um, so one for, one for five so far on the island. It's not how that's not how you want to play this hole, but obviously in this headwind, that's 
one on the island is just good enough. Yep, and this is Isaac. Maybe leaking a little, a little too hazard. And just off the island. It's still kind of a slight headwind, I want to say. Uh, TJ just goes out of bounds. Yeah, that's not what you want to do. And then Kate steps up. Same kind of concept. You just want to throw it to the island. Yeah, just go, go long, right? Yeah. And there's going to be a discussion about that one. Well, let's look at Cannon first, and we'll kind of talk once you, once we get there. Yeah, the forehand might be the play, just throwing, getting away from the water. Yeah, you just if you throw it forehand right at the basket, it should just drop right on the pole. Yep, and here's Henry. He won the singles competition at this tournament. He also is another guy that crushes. And here's Quentin. Oh, yeah, for sure. For the bird. Oh, and that goes OB off cage. So Nick has a decision to make. It's a very smart play. Um, that putt really tests your nerves. I mean, if you make it, you're feeling really good in singles. So it's. And, and here you are taking a meter. This was out of bounds, right? Him. Yeah, uh, yes, it was. And they gave it to us. We barely hit the island. So we got to take it from there. Yep, so you're going to start it off with a double. Oklahoma with a, with a bogey. And after the smart play by Nick, they're going to take strokes on the field just with a par. Surprisingly, that hole played a whole stroke over par on this day, 16. Tell me about 17. 17 is a par four, 645 feet. Uh, I believe we're playing to the short basket. Uh, you kinda wanna throw a low beamer through this gap, um, beat that last tree on this, the one that we're about to approach now to have a wide open shot to the basket. Uh, the wind should be a right to left tail wind, so on these approaches are going to be a little more difficult um, during this round. Yep, and so for the team's competition, for those of you that may not be familiar, each hole, a different set of teams will will tee off. So the first hole, it was you and Justin. So this hole, it'll be Cade and TJ teeing off, right? Yes. All right. And so Nick got a little bit squirrely into the tree. Quentin's going to try to correct on that, but that's too hazard. That wind's just taking them straight left. Yeah, there is an out of bounds line left, and so Quentin has found that. So now you're going to get to see Cannon rip on one here. If the thing about that shot is if it would have been like DDO week, they have that line right on the edge of that tree. So that when I went up there, I swear they were out of bounds. So fortunately, they have, they pushed a the line more towards, um, I believe it's 12's basket. Oh, okay. So that was end up being safe. Yes. That was a pump by Henry. That was way out there, and he's safe as well. What's Cade ripping on here? Do you know what that blue disc is? Yeah, I believe it's a uh, um, old SDS destroyer uh, from like 2008. He loves throwing on this disc for, I think, shots like this, honestly.
That was nice. This Wait, looks like a time lapse shot of him. He just this is probably his far farthest flying disc in the bag and yeah, that's just obliterated. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, so Missouri's in a tough spot here. So if they decide to take this Heiser line, it is all over OB. This wind was playing today. Um, that's the shot you want to do is right over and have the wind just take it, take it to the basket. That was such a good shot from there. And that was Jared. Isaac's going to do something a little bit funky with his left hand. He's going to try to split these trees. Made the gap, but then ends up cut rolling OB. Henry's drive got so far down here that they have a just a straight look here at the basket for Landon. I mean, you can see that flag on the golf green just ripping <laughs> from right to left. So they kind of want to be smart about this, not throw anything with uh, exposed the bottom of the flight plate and kind of just throw a little forehand approach up to the green. Yep, I think Micah tried to get a little bit more aggressive since Landon was close. And then here you are, kind of pinched up against this tree. What What's going on in your head here? Uh, so I'm kind of doing what, what Micah kind of thought. It was just throw a little forehand justice kind of out to the left of the basket, let the wind kind of just drop it next to the basket. And I, I got the right line, got the right height, but not enough distance. Oh, you just ignored Justin, huh? Yeah, I felt <laughs> bad. And then my dad kind of called me back. <laughs> yeah, you guys are laughing about it now. Yeah. Is this a Berg? I believe so. Maybe Berg X. Ew. That's sweet. Okay, so this is for Berg for you guys. Money. Tailwind putt. Cade connects. Here's Cannon also for a birdie. Two good putts. That's a tough putt and a right to left win like that. And after Jerry's awesome shot, Quentin's going to look yep. to also sure save is. for a birdie. And there it is. All right, dude, we're jumping right into hole 18. Tell me a little bit about this one. So this is from like the short position. So it's kind of a, just a straight, uh, not really a tunnel shot, but just hit this gap, give yourself a putt. Um, ideally, you want to be inside circle. You don't want to really be up to the left because it's, it's that's pretty much another death putt. Um, but yeah. It's it's a great hole for for any any division, honestly. Yeah, it's playing as a par four today, so I would say Eagles definitely in play for all teams here. And ooh, Isaac going big, lefty. Oh, it's a bad roll, and he actually ends up going OB. That was a great lefty line. Unfortunately, it just kind of comes out on too much spike, and the wind kind of just pushes it straight to the water. That had a nice flip up for Jared. They're going to probably be a little bit of 
I'd say 50 feet tough in this wind to to really take a run at that one. Yeah. Just have someone lay it up, give them, have the other person run it. And then, yep. I mean, you're guaranteed a birdie. Great shot by Landon. Just low line drive perfectly through the gap. Micah can get super aggressive here. Unfortunately, uh, got... gets caught up in that tree. I am ripping on a uh, prototype general. It's kind of a an overstable distance driver comparable to a Rive and I hit my gap. I didn't really get the distance I wanted on it, but we got a putt from there. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the mission one is getting through the gap, and then Justin can maybe do a little bit more. Yeah, takes the same line, throws a little more hyzer, pop up. Um, definitely what you want to get the distance, but it's just, just not the right speed. Yep. All right, so here you called it. Quinton needs to lay up. Okay, and I think he, he was attempting to. So Nick has the green light to try to go ahead and get this eagle. And Nick has like a broken hip, <laughs> broken knee. Like dude is battling out there. All right, now Cannon gets a look at the eagle as well. Ooh. That wind oh. looked like it kind of raises it up a little bit. I think he's still close enough that Henry can give this a full send. Oh, right side, but caught. Yeah, that was, that was a great putt from them. So, TJ, what do you think? This is like circle's edge, maybe? Yeah, I'd say he's 38. Ooh. And that's a scary putt, because if he doesn't hit something, he's water. Yeah, those those wizards he's putts with, those are some deadly putters right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Missouri will tap in for the birdie. Two eagles, though. And we're going to jump into hole number one. Hole number one, par five. We're going to the short basket, 999 feet. Um, there's not that much going on towards the left, so people are going to kind of just give himself the open gap, open up that hyzer a little bit. Um, but we have some crushers on this card, so they're going to be far and they're going to be center on the fairway. Um, kind of playing the same wind it was right to left. And Cannon's going to start us off here. Right in the middle, kept it safe. And now here's Henry, and Henry crushes. Oof. That was just a crazy shot. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like five plus, five bills plus right there. Absolutely. And what's Cade thinking here? Uh, just be in the middle. You don't not throw out of bounds. Don't be any any danger of having a tough shot. Just takes oh. out his or uh, sorry not orbit, uh, Halo Destroyer on a big spike. And yeah, that's 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 what you want. And TJ takes his time lapse, and he's got the green light to to send one. I don't think it turned on him. 
No, that's going to be well OB. So it didn't flip up for him. And here's Nick. I think he's going to do kind of the same thing that every first thrower has been doing, just get somewhere in the middle. And that's just smart play. Just being in the open, uh, give yourself, a, uh, your partner, a chance to, to send one. I mean, yeah, like that, that one's. Yeah. That was sweet. Yeah, for a full hyzer, that was that went a long way. All right, so you really can't see the basket from here. So what's what's the play? Um, so you just want to right, be in the right in the middle. I'm throwing on a grace. Uh, it's, I guess it's a wind on my back right now. That's what it looks like. It does, yeah. It looks taily. Right to left. One of one of the two. And I know that I didn't like it out of my hand. I thought it was going to be out of bounds. And I do want to apologize because I, as soon as I left my hand, I was just frustrated. And I picked up, picked up that disc real quick. And I felt like I threw some dead grass in your face. So I want to apologize <laughs> if I did. Or not. I, I did not notice if you did. So we, we think I'm out of bounds. Justin just throws a little forehand pitch up to the middle and gives us stuff uh gives us a, a little forehand approach backhand approach to the basket i was going to turn on jared and you can see this disc look right in the middle of the tree you see it yeah that's it's crazy All right. So Isaac's got to be licking his shops here. Perfect for a lefty. Just right where you need to be, right in the center. Yep. Give yourself, uh, your partners a chance to connect on that putt. And Landon hits the same tree, and you won't believe this, but the discs are on top of each other in the middle of that tree. That is wild. I actually didn't know that. Okay, Mike is safe, but going to be under that little shrub there. And you can see both of them right there. Wow, that's that's crazy. All right, Cannon with the forehand. Oh, that's turned a little. And that's on the green. That's OB. Yeah. So it looks like that wind's kind of pushing in their, their forehands. Not where you want it to the left. So I'm sure he's throwing something pretty overstable. Make sure he stays in balance. Oh, and that one just gets caught up. So it looks like Cade's taking his uh, Toro and just trying to get up there close to the basket so we can have the easy putt. But kind of hits the back of the that hillside and rolls down a little bit. And uh, TJ looks like to do the same thing with his Toro. I don't think we're thinking of too much about getting close to to the basket, but let's yeah. just say we got some putts. Nice approach there by Quentin. Puts it right 
right near the basket. And this gives Nick full send opportunity. And he did not leave it short. No, he did not. <laughs> he was laughing about it. <laughs> All right, so Oklahoma Christian in these trees. Oh, just off the top of the cage, hit the chains, but no good. This is a real tough putt. I mean, low ceiling. The basket's kind of elevated a little bit. Oh. But they gave some good bits. Yeah, both of them hit chain. To even get that is pretty impressive. And now here you are for the birdie putt. Yeah, you can see those flags in the background. The, the wind is just crazy. Yeah, the wind was definitely playing a factor in my head. It was just finding the right moment to putt. Took a little too much time on that putt. And that's surprising yeah, from the two of you. Have made. Yep. Missouri capitalizes, gets the bird. TJ will finish out par. And then Cannon for Oklahoma Christian will also take the par. We're going to move right into hole number two. Hole two. Uh, I believe we're playing from the short pad. And it's kind of a uh, little Anheuser or a big forehand around this big evergreen. Um, it's... It's a pump for a forehand. It's really tricky for a backhand. I threw a, let's just say I, I did the best I could because I actually didn't practice this this tee or the basket. So I was in for a treat. Yeah, because the drone flew the long pad. Um, so this one's only coming in at 405 feet. And it looks like we're going to have Isaac start us off here. Another one that sets up really well for his left hand. Looks like a good shot out of them. Yeah, I can't tell if he sawed it off or if the wind got it. And that's kind of the miss on this hole is not putting enough Anheuser on it and just leaving it way out long long putt and I think Landon's play was to go over the evergreen at least he said so afterward so let's look at this shot and see if you agree if that was truly his line or if Landon's a liar face Yeah, that looked like the line. It's just, I think it got a little right on him. And now Micah can go big turnover. Fairly deep, wow. What do you got in your hand? I have a grace. I believe I try to put a little ante on it, trying to get that little uh, um, push by the wind. And I went pretty deep, so I was pretty surprised. I heard it was a good shot, but that's not a bad uh, shot for us. And I believe Justin's throwing maybe a destroyer on a forehand. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of blind for you guys from here. I mean, you definitely had the right angle on it. Just that disc just kept going. Yeah, I believe it was kind of the going uphill, kind of stable it out a little bit. 
And this Good is not shot. a bad shot. Yeah, I think that's Circle's Edge. I missed the first shot, but uh, Oklahoma Christian just pitched up to there. And we're going to go to Missouri's putt here for Quentin. Ooh. Good bid. Good bid. Oh. Right off the top. That was a good bid from Nick. I would say this is like a right to left. And just... Putts with his watt. That's his long putter. And just misses right. Yeah, maybe a little too much Annie on that one. The wind caught it and didn't let it come back. And this one, you just kind of want to throw as flat as possible mm -hmm. on the right side of the pole and just let that wind kind of slowly push it back to the left. And so, yeah, not what you want to do, but they gave their best effort. Yeah, but left, left you guys with definitely a tester. So here you are. What do you putt with? I putt with some a pair of classic wardens, and I was. When I stepped up to this, I was like, if I make this, I'm going to feel really good. And I'm glad I put it right in the center. Yeah, that was a great putt. And then Landon coming in doing some and one mixtape stuff um, before his tap in. And we're going to move into hole three. Hole three is a downhill 466 feet. I would say it plays about 400 feet. Um, people who can throw pretty far on forehands are going to take that wide left gap. Um, I usually take up the middle gap with like a fairway driver, a little ante, and let the disc kind of just work its way back down to the basket. Yeah, that OB is so tight on the right hand side. Right, Nick going lefty, just up the middle, the safe play. And that's not a, bla a bad play, especially with a lot of out of bounds. Kind of gives the other person a green light to get a little more aggressive. And he's going this hyzer line. Have you seen this before? I have. It's really tight. You cannot hang it out wide. You kind of have to hug those those trees on the left. Looks like he did hit the tree. He's, I think he stayed OB. And Henry looks like he's going forehand, which definitely suits the hole better. Oh, but he goes inside line. And wow. that's a great shot. Great shot. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't skip OB. Usually people go wide. I think it was a left to right here, too, if I remember correctly. Cannon went way wide and way, way out of bounds, but he knew that Henry was parked. All right, so TJ's up. What's he throwing on? What's this teal one? This is a uh, Orbit Rive. Um, this is just super far uh, forehand disc. Takes kind of the inside gap, but goes out of bounds, unfortunately. A little too low, a little too skippy. Yeah. His didn't have the same turn that Henry's did. No, and Cade, I believe he's going to take the left, the far left gap. And he's ripping on a uh, the same SDS destroyer. Okay. And puts us right in the middle for a... Uh, you know, a good look at the basket. Yeah. yeah, after TJ goes OB, you just have to be safe. 
when you're that second person. Yeah, that's for sure. Isaac with a just a real nice approach there. He's smooth with that approach game. Jared going big hyzer, but doesn't quite have enough hyzer on it. All right, and here you are with OB behind the basket, right? Yeah, I just told him I'm going to put it right next to the basket. Uh, so I took out my classic win, Marshall. A little tailwind action going on, so I do a little nose up, a little Annie. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> We had some fireworks out on the whole three. Yeah, we did. <laughs> that was a great shot. Great layup. <laughs> That's what everybody told me. And yeah, I kind of made up for my missed putt on one. Yeah, that was sick. That was so cool. So a couple eagles on that one. Uh, Missouri gets the birdie. We're going to move into hole four. Oh, but first... Let's have a Disc and Deals double take. Yeah, this is awesome. Is this a first or has this been here for a while? This is the third video that's featured one. That's but you're awesome. definitely now part of history. That was a sweet shot, dude. Yeah, I appreciate it. So uh, hole four, we're going to this basket on the left. Uh, it's going to be a big hyzer. Today, or yeah, today it was going to be a left to right. So we had to throw something straight with that had a lot of stability and kind of just dunk it to the basket. But it was yeah. playing pretty hard today. Pretty it hard. It was. Today. And that drone wasn't flying there. So I put a little basket in. Hope that helped you understand where the hole was, everyone. And you can see it just beating the disc down. Playing really tough. I know we were throwing all these pretty overstable distance drivers and getting knocked down or um, then flipping up the flat and riding to the right. Micah, same thing. You show that hyzer angle and it just beats the disc down with that left to right. So I am ripping on a bio defender. I was waiting for the wind gust to kind of die down. Oh, a that bit. flipped up. Threw some hyzer on it and. Got us a putt. Yeah. Got us a, a look at the basket. If you look at you from the catch cam, you were like hopping and skipping back. You felt good about that one. Yeah, I was, I was on a, I felt good after that, throwing that disc in. Justin, little flip up. That's the ideal play. Get yourself a look at the basket. Have a little uphill putt. Yeah, it's just really tough to get the distance today. Jared's going to try now. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's what you want for sure. It looks like he it looks like he really didn't throw it that hard. I know. And he went further than anyone, it looked like. A good yeah. shot. And then a lefty, this is a toughie for a lefty with that wind. That's pretty good there too. Yeah, that was a smash. All right. So cannon from about 45, maybe a little bit longer, lays up and gives Henry the green light. <laughs> he hated it immediately. And I missed their tap in, but they tapped in for par. And here's TJ. Look at that like win. Straight headwind. Yes. Throw it, throw it low at the cage and let the wind kind of ride up. 
He tried to, but a little two nose down. Cade's going to take a look. He fakes me out every time with his pump fake. Oh, almost spit back out. Great putt in that wind. And Quentin now for the birdie for Missouri. Solid. Good putt. All right. And you guys have a two stroke lead currently on the field. Going into hole number five. Hole five is a really good hole. Uh, OB right, OB left. You kind of want to throw a hyzer, have it spike on the side of this hill over to the left and open up the gap to the hyzer. But today we're playing to the short basket. So you just want to throw it in the middle, leave yourself with the easy approach and get some birdies. Absolutely. Big right to left, I think, today. Let's see what Cade does. I'm not sure what he's throwing, but throw some hyzer on it. Get it out there. Yep, that's what you want to do right there. Yeah, it looks like a firebird. So TJ has a green light to go big. I think he has a time lapse in his hand. Oh, he wanted all of it, but found the tree instead. All right. Nick up here. Big swooping hyzer. Got a lift. And that's OB. All right, see what Quentin can do. Oh no. Can it cut roll back in? No, they're both OB and fairly early. Every time I play this hole in a headwind, it's always, always just play the smart play. Don't get, don't bite off too much, because it's really easy to go out of bounds on this treacherous hole. Oh, for sure. Cannon with a very nice, keeping it in bounds. That's kind of the the safe play. And now he's going to let Henry tee off. We saw how far he can throw on one. If that's got some stability, that could be good. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, that's an underrated shot right there in this headwind. Getting up to that spot, that's a great shot on a no-wind day. Oh, no. That's early, too. So Isaac goes OB. They're already shooting three. This is Jared. You go good angle. That's just going to sit. They're at least in bounds. Going to have a look at four from there. So I, I was leaning between a justice and a criminal in a straight headwind. I didn't trust my justice to get there, so I kind of lightly... Softed up on a criminal, gets a really weird bounce and barely rolls out of bounce. Oh, wow. Yeah, the line looked perfect. What an unfortunate roll. Looks like Justin might be throwing a, uh, a gator here. It must be said that this run up going downhill is such a tough thing. You don't do it all the time, you know? Yeah, it's very tough, especially if uh, it's really the only spot you're going to find on the course like that.
He at least stayed in bounds and Landon, you know, that's a that's a nice little jumper he has. Yeah, has a lot of power behind it. Micah has can be aggressive and oh wow. <laughs> The excitement out of them. Wow. Two two throw wins already. That's That's exciting. Yeah, but that's that's what doubles is all about. Oh, that was a good putt in that wind. Perfect height, perfect pace. Just need a little bit more right. Uh just low etiquette. Pretty unfortunate that mine rolled out of bounds. I believe we would have a, a pretty short putt from, from where I would have been. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think you would have been less than 10 feet. Oh, he thought he had it, and I did too. It was a great run. Another solid bid. Out of yep. you. And you guys are going to card the par. Oklahoma Christian tying it up with that throw in. And then I think Missouri is going to end up bogey in here. Yeah, and they're going to drop one. So they're three back from, from you guys. And we're going to go into the last hole of the front nine, hole six. But first, hey, we got to have another, another disc take. and deals double take. And this one deserved it too. Look at that. Bam! That was pretty sweet. Going into hole six, uh, par three, 300 feet. We're gonna be going to this little short basket on to the right on the stump. I actually haven't played to this basket before, but I bet the play is to throw a little mid range right at it have it settle right next to the basket and give yourself a tap in. I mean, OB on the right, OB on the left. So take your straight shot, throw right at it. Yep, and the wind was still up. So easier said than done, because if they get any Anheuser on this, it's going to make it fade out to the right. But that was a stable enough disc, and that was a great shot by Landon. I believe there was some headwind on this hole today. Oh, was so, it heady? Yeah. Uh, so I believe they're taking some some fairway drivers, not throwing it too hard. Lightly throw it out there and skip it up to the basket like Landon did. So I'm leaning on a uh, SE criminal throw probably too much any than I wanted to and barely stay in bounds. What's this red disc from Justin? I believe it's a firebird. That was good. Yeah, that's what you want. Skip up to the basket. If Jared can follow the vapor trails, it's a firebird as well. Fairly close. Oh, wow. That one's OB. It's a really bad wind gust. Yeah, it Pushes did. It straight out of bounds. All right, after the bogey, you know they want this. Direct headwind putt. Oh, that had all the want in the world. That was a good putt. But it's going to make it where I don't know if Nick can go for it now. Yeah, he's left with a decision to lay it up or give it a run. Good Choose layup. A smarter play. 
Here's Cannon for the birdie for Oklahoma Christian. Great putt. Not an easy putt. Elevated basket into some sort of a wind and gets the birdie. Yeah. Made it look easy. And then Missouri's going to tap in their par. Jared will do the honors. And that's going to be the front nine. Emporia and Oklahoma. Christian tied at the top, eight under. Thank you all for tuning in. Really appreciate Isaiah, you being here and doing some commentary with me. I hope you had a good time, my friend. I appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. We still got a back nine we're going to jump into. Again, huge shout out to tournament director Matt and all the hard work he has done this year. This is the Mid-American Regional Championship. I think you guys already had a bid before this started to nationals. So this is just more so for bragging rights at this point. Huge shout out to Dynamic Disc for presenting. And Ace Run Pro, thank you so much for letting us use your drone footage. Really appreciate you. We'll see you on the back nine. If you have not, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye now.